Oklahoma won the toss and decided that they would kick off into the wind, going on defense first. Young Sean Salisbury starting at quarterback with his first chance to move the USC offense against what Barry Switzer says is a much improved Oklahoma defense. Crutcher goes back to the tailback. That's Fred Crutcher. Get at the 18 yard line, falls forward to about the 22. It'll be second down and still yet to, uh, about eight yards to go. John Blake, Rick Bryan on a stop for the Sooners. Second down, eight yards to go. This is Timmy Ware, number 19, split out wide to the left side. Jeff Simmons out wide to the right. That's Cornwell in motion. They give us to Spencer. He cuts to the 30. And finally run out of bounds at the 41-yard line by Steve Hayworth, number six. The 5'11", 183-pound senior from Durant, Oklahoma. That was an excellent run by Spencer. He's just taking the handoff, slipping, getting some good blocking on the front line, getting to the outside. Oklahoma, if they want to stop, they're going to have to pursue much better than that. Todd Spencer, who comes in averaging 4.27 yards a carry on 11 carries so far this season, as the Trojans go first down right at the 40-yard line. In motion is Ware. Timmy Ware, number 19. The pitch to Crutcher. Hit right at the line of scrimmage, falls forward for a yard. Number 80, Rick Bryan, the 6'4", 260-pound junior from Coweta, Oklahoma, making the stop. Bryan made 12 individual stops in last year's USC-Oklahoma game. The outstanding lineman in the Sun Bowl game last year, 12 tackles against USC. He's the leading tackler so far for Oklahoma with 20. Second down, nine yards to go. Salisbury moving the Trojans into the wind. That's Cornwell in motion. Salisbury to pass. Complete to Ware at the 45. Run out of bounds right at the 45-yard line by Scott Case, number 10. Again, we talked about the ability of both teams being able to adjust, being a big key, and especially the Oklahoma defense to the pass. Ware, excuse me, Lynn Ware, who's just a sophomore out of Centennial High School in Compton. That is his first pass reception of the year. And if is going to win, they hope uh, Timmy Ware catches a few more than just one. He's got excellent speed. He's a superb track performer at Centennial. The gift to Crutcher again, and again, Crutcher going off tackle, hit right at the line of scrimmage. Number 90, John Blake, the first man to get to him. Also, Rick Bryan in on the stop. The Sooners have a couple of excellent linebackers. They play a five-man front, but their ends drop off as linebackers. But their inside linebackers, number 38, Thomas Benson, and number 49, Jackie Shipp, two big, mobile, rangy linebackers. Second down, eight yards to go. In motion is Cornwell. The give to the first man, Spencer, fights his way to the 40-yard line. They may give him forward progress to the 39. They don't. Number 23, Todd Spencer whose father, Thad, of course, was a heavyweight boxer out of San Francisco. Third down, still five yards to go as you look at the Trojan huddle. And now these 78,000 Sooner fans on their feet asking for the defense to stop the Trojans on this first drive. You think that secondary doesn't know there'll be a pass? Salisbury across the middle, complete. And down close to first down yardage near the 35, make it the 34-yard line. Number That's 29, Jeff Simmons, Jeff Simmons, number 29. Jeff Simmons is, is the journeyman receiver on this football team, and he's got the experience, and he's the man they're going to count on in the clutch. Hopefully this man will, will be able to take the pressure, come up with the big catches, as he just did here on the crucial third down play. Salisbury, two for two, 21 yards so far. Again, Crutcher going off left guard. There's a flag down on the play. The referee for today's ball game, John McClintock. The umpire, James Coyne. There's Freddie Crutcher out of Blair High School. An outstanding high school All-American. As you see, the penalty being marked off against the Trojans. And this is one of the things, when Lynn, when you and I talked with John Robinson yesterday, he says, we have got to make this game a penalty-free ball game. There's just no way you can run on this team consistently 
and have any kind of consistency in your offense with penalties. He says that's, that's hurt us against Florida, and that's what we got to watch out today. Absolutely right. And last year when they won against the Oklahoma team in the final seconds, they won because they had fewer turnovers and fewer penalties, and they've got to have the same uh, mistake-free execution here today. So first down, 15 yards to go for the Trojans. That's Timmy Ware in motion. Salzburg, plenty of time to pass. Sets up, throws the screen to Spencer. East of the 35, west of the 35 yard line by number 38, Thomas Benson. That's that big rangy linebacker I told you about. There's Spencer, number 23. And he took a big hit there. That was, was a hold on to the ball. <laughs> that was a great hit. A little quick screen to the outside, as we see here on the instant replay. Salisbury dropping back, trying to look off the secondary to give everybody to take the deep drop. Now he drops it over to the back on the sideline there, and he's <laughs> looking for a place to run, and Benson finds him before he can find too much daylight. Second down, 11 yards to go. Salisbury throwing into the wind, fakes the give, rolls out to his right. Incomplete. Knocked away down there on the left side by number six, Hayward. Stevie Hayward. The 5'11", 183-pound senior. That was an excellent play on his part. You see Salisbury rolling out. What about Sal Salisbury running here? Salisbury can hurt you when he's running, and then Barry Switzer is afraid of that. Now he gets outside and could run for yard. He throws. Great defensive play there. Knocks the ball down. Almost an interception. Third down. 11 yards to go for the Trojans. Ball at the 35. Well, somebody ran the wrong pass pattern because there was nobody there. Cornwell and uh, Simmons were both tied up around the 15-yard line. One of them ran the wrong route. It looks like somebody ran the wrong route, and it also looks like the Oklahoma defense brought in some added pressure with an outside blitz. There's a man coming coming right in from the outside of from the right side of Salisbury, and he had to get rid of the ball quickly. So I just think he was maybe just throwing it away. Fryer to kick from his 50-yard line. Fryer averaging 39 yards a kick. Can't keep it out of the end zone. So it'll be first and 10 for Oklahoma after we come back with more action. There's no score here with 10.54 left in the first quarter. We'll be back. Right up, so we pick it up at third down and still three yards to go. Weldon Ledbetter, the outstanding fullback, has carried the ball twice. He got six yards on the first carry before Joey Browner made the stop. There, as you take a look at the Southern California defense, Neil Hope uh, comes in to replace the injured August Curley. Ricky Gray is the most active linebacker, one of the best athletes on this USC team. Of course, he has spent a lot of his time injured. Phelps with the ball. Pitches out. Great hit back at the 21-yard line by Daryl Hopper making the stop for the Trojans. And that'll bring up a fourth down kicking situation as Steve Sewell trying to come around from the opposite side got hit by Tony Brewer and uh, Daryl Hopper. Ted, that's a perfect execution of defense in stopping a wishbone running attack. They've got to have that corner support. The secondary has come up and make a lot of tackles and have to do it quickly. Very short punt by the Sooners, and the Trojans will have excellent field position as it's down at the 46-yard line by number 46, Daryl Goodlow for the Sooners. So the Trojans will take over first and 10 from their own 40, or rather the Sooner 45-yard line. Excellent field position, Lynn. Field position is always very important. People don't look at field position as closely as they should. And when I say that, they don't look at the special teams and their value in obtaining uh, field position. USC, because Oklahoma made a bad punt, now has the ball on their half of the football field. Salisbury out of the I formation. Crutcher fights his way to the 42-yard line. Bruce Matthews with a great block. Excellent block by Matthews. That block sprung him to the outside so he could pick up the four yards. Jackie Ship making the stop for the Sooners. There's Freddie Crutcher out of Blair High School. Nine yards and four carries so far for Crutcher. Some of the Oklahoma fans. Second down, seven yards to go. Salisbury gives to Spencer as he tries to go over his right guard. Not much going there. Again, the big active linebackers, Thomas Benson and Jackie Ship in on the stop. Todd Spencer's 
biggest attribute is his quickness. That's why they have him playing a fullback up close to the line, and they will try and open up those holes very quickly so he can scoot through, pick up the yardage, and keep going. You won't see a lot of flashy moves from Todd Spencer. Three carries, 22 yards for Todd Spencer. Third down, still five yards to go. Crutcher tries to get outside. He is very close to the first down. It depends on where they give him forward progress as Stevie Hayworth, number six, makes the stop. Looks like it's going to be a first down. It's right on the 35-yard line. Five carries, 14 yards for Fred Crutcher. And it's close enough to measure as Sean Salisbury comes over to take a look. Describe, if you would, Lynn, the difference between Fred Crutcher and, of course, the Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Allen from last year. Well, of course, Marcus Allen possessed every, all the talent. Uh, su superb running back, good receiver. Uh, he could do it all. Uh, just Crutcher, short of the first down, by the way, Lynn. Is it just short? Well, now we have a coaching decision to make. I don't think there's much decision there. Well, it's John Robinson right on top of it. You see the difference right there. It can't be more than a half an inch, an inch at the most. That's a benefit of having field position at this point. Had it been on the other side of the 50-yard line, it's a definite punt. Now, because it's on their half of the field, John Robinson at this point can't afford to take a chance. He knows if they don't get the first down, they still have to take the ball from the 35-yard line and march 65 yards for a score. Okay, Lynn, I interrupted you. Back to Fred Crutcher. Fred Crutcher's got good speed. He doesn't have the great speed. He isn't quite as strong as Marcus Allen, but he's a good, stable running back. Of course, he was the second team back. Uh, he just uh, doesn't have too much experience, but he's going to get better as the year progresses. Big Mark Boyer is into the ball game. Two tight ends for the Trojans. Let's see if Salisbury takes it himself. Yes. I'll tell you, he didn't get much. He did not get much. He moved a little bit. <laughs> Why, that big front wall of the Oklahoma defense, John Blake, who's 6'2", 255, Bob Slater, 6'4", 253, and Rick Bryan, the best of the defensive linemen for Oklahoma, 6'4", 260. They pretty well put a stop. USC offense is no slouch either. Don Mosbar, of course, who's the All-American, 6'7", 270. Joe Murray, 6'5", 265 on the left side. Tony Slayton, the center, 6'4", 255. Bruce Matthews, the All-American, 6'5", 265. And Kelly Thomas, 6'6", 270. And the Oklahoma fans don't like it. But he just did get the first down. When he took that snap, he really didn't back up and push. He let his offensive line just kind of blow him off the line. He knew he only needed an inch, and he leaned forward and got it. Fourth first down for the Trojans as they move right from their 35. Salisbury to pass on first down. Throwing for Timmy Ware. He's open at the 15-yard line. Ware at the 10, down to the 7. Excellent, excellent route by Timmy Ware. A simple flat pattern in his own defensive coverage. and broke to the outside. Sean Salisbury doing an excellent job of leading him, getting the ball just over the head of the defensive secondary. Daryl Sanji, as you watch it again, just could not keep up with Timmy Ware on this play. Now, I think this is an audible. He took a little more time at the line. Timmy Ware breaks it out. He's got a good angle. And there, takes it up the field, and now USC is in excellent scoring territory. Two receptions for 42 yards for Ware so far. First and goal from the seven. Crutcher to the five, fights his way to the three-yard line. Good move by Crutcher to take it inside and pick up those extra two yards. And Todd Spencer with an excellent block for the Trojans. Going back a little bit in the game, you mentioned that that was on um, the first reception by number 19, Timmy Ware. That was his first of the season. Psychologically, that's a big catch for him. Big catch gives him the confidence to go out and play a little bit harder. Second and goal from the three. That's Kamenai in motion. Crutcher needs a block. Can't find it as he gets to the wire. Seven carries, 20 yards so far for Freddie Crutcher. Total of 43 yards rushing for the Trojans. You see the instant replay here. Crutcher gets the ball, wants to go outside, but they close it off, so he takes it inside, so he's not going for a loss, picks up one yard. Of course, Ted, this looks like a classic situation 
for a play that we really think started in 1972 with Sam Cunningham for the Trojans, where the fullback lines up a tailback, gets a good long run, dives over for the one yard for the score. Anthony Gibson has come in at fullback, replacing Todd Spencer, who limped off the field. Gibson out of San Fernando, the senior. Third down and goal from the one yard line. That's common on motion. Take the gift to Crutcher. So great to throw wide open is John Common at number 26 in the end zone. Superb play by the sophomore Sean Salisbury. Oh, they had everyone pulled on that play, even us here upstairs, Ted. Great play action pass. He just rolled out. Nobody expected Kamana to come out and make that catch, get open in the, in the end zone there. Kamana, as you watch it here out of Honolulu, goes in motion. Now he is wide open out to the right side. You see it there. And Kamana with his fifth reception of the year, his first touchdown. Salisbury is now five of seven for a total of 54 yards. The kick, no good. Steve Jordan, who was four for four on extra points, is wide to the right side. So with six minutes left to play here in the first quarter, it's USC 6, Oklahoma nothing. We'll be back right after this message. Dupree lets it go out of bounds at the two-yard line. That'll be a five-yard penalty against the Trojans. And Steve Jordan is not having a real good game so far, Lynn. Well, missing the extra point, uh, you know, might hurt them if they have to, if, if the game is real close. Two field goals would tie it up real quick. There you see the USC scoring drive, which, as Lynn mentioned, partially due to a very short punt. They were in excellent field position at the 45-yard line. By the way, number 22, the fellow who let that uh, kickoff go out of bounds, the fellow you were looking for, is Marcus Dupree. You'll see a lot of him at halfback today. He's just a freshman out of Philadelphia, Mississippi. And uh, to give you some idea of just what kind of a football player he is, he won the same award last year that Marcus Allen won in his senior year in San Diego, the Hertz All-American Award. Met O.J. Simpson back in New York. O.J. was talking yesterday about what an outstanding football player Marcus Dupree is. Barry Switzer says he felt that he was the finest high school football running back last year. And when you stand next to him and see how big he is, you know he's got some strength and power. Fumble at the 10. And Dupree takes it to the 23-yard line. 6'3", 210-pound freshman. He'll be alternating with Steve Sewell, number 13, at running back. There's Dupree, number 22. Little bobble right there, but there. Yep. He gets a lucky bounce. Doesn't really hurt him because he picks it up in stride. Doesn't get great blocking. USC does a great job of covering that kickoff to put the ball in the 23, 23 and a half. Wishbone. That time going to the first man through. Years. I'll tell you, it's got to be tough giving to the first man through Ledbetter, the fullback, against the USC defense. Oh, he's a man that's got to soften him up. The front man, that fullback, has to attack the middle of that line and hopefully draw the entire defensive line and linebackers in. So now the next time they come out, if they fake it to that fullback going straight up the middle, and they draw the outside pursuit in and then get to the outside, they've got a better chance of getting some more yards. Obviously, USC doing a much better job of stopping the Oklahoma rushing game starting off than they did last year. There's Phelps. Got some running room. And finally knocked out of bounds by Joey Browner at about the 35-yard line for a first down. The first first down of the game and the longest gain of the day for Oklahoma. Phelps did an excellent job running the wishbone that time. He, he did an excellent job. The wishbone, when you run to the outside, is designed to spring the quarterback loose. Now you see, they get a good block on the outside. He's cut. He gets to the outside, makes the yards, and there's Joey Brown coming in to put the stop on him. They usually assign a man to the quarterback and to the halfback on the outside, and then hope that the pursuit from inside will cut down all the blocking so they can make the tackle. Joey Brown will be very busy. Browner shaken up on that play. Replaced by Tim Shannon, who, of course, that comes from a famous athletic family. His father, Mike, played in the St. Louis organization. Fine infielder. First and 10 for the Sooners after their longest game of the day. Again, working out of the wishbone. To give us to Stanley Wilson and Georgia Chica attacks him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll give him a couple of yards. Stanley Wilson out of Banning High School in Carson, all big eight last year, preseason All-American. 
It was averaging 5.2 yards a carry coming in. That's his first carry. You see right there, he comes to the line, and Georgia Chica is right there waiting for him. 6'5", 260-pound Georgia Chica. Now, George being the nose guard on the Trojan defense, he is going to have to take on a lot of responsibility for stopping that inside running game, stopping that fullback to free the other people to go after the outside game. Phelps looking to pass. Throwing long, he's got a man up, and he can't find it. Oh, it's passes like that that were complete last year that really put the Trojans in the bind at the early start of the ball game. Paul Poulos, the sophomore out of Oklahoma City, who was also an All-American basketball player, was wide open down at the 30-yard line, and Phelps just couldn't get to him. Joey Browner wasn't within 10 yards of him as you take a look at some of these Sooner fans packed 78,000 strong into Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. This is a beautiful football facility. It really is. Number 89, David Carter, split out wide to the right side. Phelps to pass, being chased, fumbles the ball. The ball is still rolling loose. And the Sooners recover back at the 27, 28 yard line. Ted, I don't know why, but there was an early whistle blown by the official. No one seemed to have possession of the ball, and they just stopped the play. I thought maybe it was a fan or something. I heard the whistle too. Watch it here. They're trying to little the give to Wilson, and Wilson never touched it. Now looking at the instant, you see the ball just bounced right left. Now it looks like it's a fumble. The reason why the whistle was blown early, the ball was thrown forward. That's considered a pass, so it's an incomplete pass. The ball comes to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, the punter is Mike, Mike Keeling. Browner at the 15, trying to get outside. He's to the 20, falls forward to the 23. And he that, did all that with no blocking. USC Trojans had a rush on there to no avail. He got the punt off, and it was a line drive. But when you don't have blocking on the punt return, the best thing to do, if you don't have too much room, is fair catch it. That time, he had a little bit of room, chose not to fair catch it, and he got about two or three yards on the return. There's 407 left to play here in the first quarter with the USC jumping out on top, six to nothing after their 45-yard drive. Sean Salisbury brings the Trojans up to the line of scrimmage. Number 67 you saw walking up there was Kelly Thomas, the big right tackle. That's Cornwell in motion. Crutcher going to the outside. Good hit at the 26-yard line by number 10, Scott Case. Crutcher, eight carries, 23 yards so far. 46 yards in total rushing offense for the Trojans. You got to be impressed with the USC defense so far, Lynn. So far, they've done the best job of adjusting to a, an offense that they haven't seen at all this year. Second down and five. Crutcher to the 30. Falls forward to about the 32-yard line. John Truitt with the stop. You'll see USC very often run that sweep, that pitch to the short side of the field. And people sometimes question, why not take it to the wide side where there's more room? Well, the defense is thinking the same thing, Ted. And a lot of times they'll overplay the wide side of the field, making that short side very inviting. Two tight ends, and now on third down, about a yard to go. That's Kamana, the V-back in motion. Crutcher trying to get outside. He picks up the first down, close to the 35. Crutcher had lots of room to the outside on this play. Short yardage situation. He only needs a couple. Line tries to string out that defensive line. He sees an opening and he takes it right away. Good job of adjusting by the Oklahoma defense. But Crutcher got that first down basically on him on his own as he ran right through two guys. Slot on the left side for USC. Passing formation, Salisbury gets it off just in time. Incomplete, bobbled at the 45-yard line. That's Jeff Simmons. If Jeff Simmons had caught that, that would have been a great one-handed catch. Salisbury received a lot of pressure in that play, and he was very, very lucky to get it off. Two minutes and 20 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. 
That's right here. Salisbury is five for eight, 54 yards. Salisbury dropping back, and number 41 coming in from the outside, applying Truitt. pressure. John Truitt, the defensive end. And it's incomplete. Second, again, out of the I formation. Crusher finds a little room and picks up the first down to the 46-yard line. Nice Sanji with the stop, Daryl Sanji. Nice bit of running by Crutcher there. Seems to have had an option on this particular play. They take it inside or outside. Red is blocking, he gets a handoff deep in the backfield, cuts it right up. You see there, he's going inside. There's not too much traffic there. That's the best run Crutcher has made today. Yes. Seven first downs for the Trojans. First and 10 at the 46. Spencer, still about the 48. Spencer, four carries for 24 yards so far. Ted, this only being the first quarter and, and, and observing the, the attitude of, of the Trojan team, they seem awfully calm for such a big football game. A Lynn boys, young team. The incredible thing to me is the total difference between this game and last year's game where Oklahoma literally blew the Trojans off the field in the first half. They could do whatever they wanted. The only thing that stopped the Sooners last year was fumbles. And the Trojans jump off sides. That was Jeff Simmons who missed the count. And the second penalty against the Trojans. 129 left to play here in the first quarter. There's 129 left to play here in the first quarter with the Trojans leading six to nothing. We'll be back with more action right after this. Apologize to you from Norman, Oklahoma. They do not hold timeouts here in Norman, so we did miss one play, a pass play from Salisbury to Spencer for about six yards, so it's third down now, four yards to go. Salisbury to where? Complete to the 37-yard line. No, he dropped it. Timmy Wait. Ware had it in his hands and couldn't hold on. That was a great effort by Timmy Ware. Very nicely thrown pass by Salisbury under pressure. Again, going against his own coverage defense. Timmy Ware dives to the outside, but just couldn't quite hang on to it. Punting situation for David Pryor, averaging Pryor so far uh, is averaging around 41 yards a kick. Make that 39 yards a kick so far. Case and Hayworth are back deep as Pryor gets set to punt. And again, it goes into the end zone. We'll be back with more action with 27 seconds left to play in the first quarter right at guard line. He gets to about the 23, but there is a flag on the play. Illegal procedure charged against the Sooners, so it'll be first and 15 back at the 15-yard line. But let's talk about the USC defense, how much more aggressive they are, and who's doing the good job. Certainly, Georgia Chica would be one, and Joey Browning. Excellent. And when, when you look at this, I talked to Marv Goo yesterday before the game, and I asked him about the problems his defense would have in facing this Oklahoma team. Not only do they not see the wishbone, he says he can't really simulate the wishbone effectively at practice. None of the SC backs have that kind of speed. And that was your problem back in, what, 1972? 1971. 71, when we were blown out of Norman, Oklahoma, with Greg Pruitt in their backfield. And earlier we talked about the crown in this football field where it's passing, the receiver gets deeper on the sideline. These running backs can get a great head start running downfield from the center of the field. First and 15, Sewell in motion. Phelps with the ball, running up field, gets maybe three or four yards. Again, great pursuit. Neil Hope with the tackle. Phelps has carried two times for 11 yards. Oklahoma, who has got one of the best offenses in the country, has got 17 yards rushing. That's the end of the first quarter here in Norman, Oklahoma. The Trojans lead it by a score of six to nothing. I'm Ted Dawson, along with Lynn Swan, and we'll be back right after this. I'm Ted Dawson, along with Lynn Swan. It'll be a punting situation for the Sooners, and you just cannot say enough about this USC defense so far. They have been sensational against the pass. As you take a look at the first quarter statistics, USC totally controlling this ball game in all aspects. Look at the passing yards. Keeling with the punt. Good, high kick into the wind. Browner calling for the fair catch. Now lets it go and regrets it. Ball goes out of bounds at about the 21-yard line. The official gets decked there. I mean, he got decked in a hurry. 
Sometimes Jerry Jerry Sanders, number 45, really roll over him. These officials can't get out of position sometimes, and the young kids coming down the field don't stop in time. They're looking strictly at the ball, and Wait, they bite oh, the dust. Hold it. You've, you've never taken a shot at, a, at an official, have you? No one ever intentionally takes a shot at an official, but yeah, sometimes okay, you just can't slow down right. and move out of the way. <laughs> right. Again, we're looking at the statistics from the first quarter, and the USC team has dominated this game. If they continue this, it may not even be close. Six to nothing, our score here in the second quarter. Crutcher off his left guard, couldn't quite break away. That was number 68, the uh, uh, Bob Slater, the left tackle for Oklahoma. 6'4", 253-pound junior out of Tulsa. 12 individual tackles so far coming into this ballgame. Crutcher has carried 12 times for 47 yards, 47 of the 72 rushing yards the Trojans have gotten so far. Salisbury with the long count. Crutcher trying to go to his right. Good cutback, fumbles the ball, and the Sooners recover. So Oklahoma will have the ball first and 10 at the Trojan 25-yard line. We'll be back right after this. That's for the Trojan defense so far. As Oklahoma moving from the 23-yard line in great field position after the Fred Crutcher fumble. That was Kevin Murphy who just stripped him of the ball. When he put on the brakes to cut inside, he left that arm out there, and Murphy just stuck in an arm, knocked it loose. Second down, nine yards to go for the Sooners. Phelps fumbles the ball, kicks it away. Georgia Chica racing far with Phelps. The ball still loose. There's about five Trojans around the ball, but it looks like Oklahoma has come up with it. That's close. It's going to be close. From here, Oklahoma fumbled the ball ten times last year, averaged four fumbles per game. And look, I think Georgia Chica was the one who kicked it. Now he and Phelps are in a foot race. Phelps can't get to it. Byron Goodness. Darby can't get to it. Phelps, no, Phelps got back it. in there. There's a lot of Trojans around it, but Phelps is the man who comes up with it. <laughs> and it's a long way on this second down for a first down. Kelly Phelps, yesterday at practice, came up to Lynn Swan, walked all the way across the field and said, Lynn, he says, I just got to shake your hand. You're my favorite football player. Yeah, I'll tell you, sometimes those nice compliments sure can't make you feel old. Well, that's because you make a quarterback look good. That's why. <laughs> Third down, half a century for the Sooners. Phelps throwing long. He's got a man open. Carter is down there. Great catch. David Carter was got wide open as he beat Darrell Hopper deep. David Carter, 6'1", 192-pound sophomore out of Altus, Oklahoma, as you watch it again. USC has to know they've got to put the ball in the air to gain all that yard. He takes a deep drop, throws it downfield, and there are two men chasing Carter down the field. Out of position, they cannot make the play. I think Hopper went for the ball. Hopper went for the ball because he knew he couldn't go for the man. Fourth down for the Trojans. After that pass, they still have fourth down and a yard to go. If David Carter had caught that pass and hadn't fallen down, he would have gone for a touchdown. So with the Oklahoma having the ball on the 15-yard line, we'll be right back. We'll be back right after this. First half, the Sooners threatening on fourth down, one yard to go. Phelps. Breaks one tackle. Did he get the first down? It looks like he's very, very close. Very close. Joey Browner makes the stop, but I think he got it. Good individual effort by number seven, the senior quarterback out of Oklahoma City, 5'10", 185 pound, Kelly Phelps. Kelly Phelps was almost tackled about four yards deep in the backfield. He Line ran away from Georgia Chica. Georgia Chica's outstretched arms just could not hang on to him. He just stepped out of that tackle, got to the outside, where he met Joey Browner. Joey Browner put a good tackle on him, close to the line of scrimmage, close to the first down, but he just couldn't stop him short. Marv Gu told you and I this morning that Joey Browner is the best athlete on this team. A uh, high school All-American basketball player, uh, didn't play football his senior year in high school back in Atlanta, of course, comes from the famous Browner family. Marv Gu, who has seen some great defensive players, says that Joey Browner should be a first-round draft choice. Let's go. 
Fred Vetter to the seven yard line. Our check cat, that's Fred Sims, number 23. Fred Sims, the sophomore out of Tucson, Arizona. Byron Darby with the stop. 18 yards. Our check cat, that's uh, for Sims, that gives him 11 yards so far. You see him taking the ball here. He heads inside, and it's Neil Hope. Neil Hope. It stops him, throws him down. Good effort. He just you know, went through Neil Hope and gained a couple more yards there. But there was a penalty on the play, and it well, seems I sure to didn't see it. be Did you, uh, against never saw the Oklahoma. Flag. Holding being charged against the Sooners. Boy, what a break for the Trojans that is as it puts the ball back near the 23-yard line. That could be a very, very costly penalty here at this point. They've got to go a good 20 yards here to get a first down. But they had to go 40 last time and got it. 11.45 left to play here in the first half. Six to nothing, Trojans lead it. Phelps, slot to the right side. Back to pass, throwing across the middle, incomplete. Almost intercepted. Neil Hope had a shot at it. Also, Tony Brewer had a shot at it. That was a great overall defensive effort by the Trojans there. They got great pressure on Kelly Phelps, as you'll see him go back here to pass. And number 57 comes Keith in. Browner. Keith Browner tries to put, put pressure on them. 35 is there, tips it up, and uh, Neil Hope just needs a little more work on that tip drill. Ricky Gray, very close to making that interception, number 35. Phelps to pass again. Lots more time, he's got a man open in the end zone, incomplete. That was David Carter again, number 89, the man who made the 40-yard reception before. That time, Daryl Hopper was on top of him. It, uh, when it looked like Carter was open, actually Hopper was playing in front of him, and to make that pass complete, Hopper would have been there for the, to knock it down to the interception. Plus the ball was thrown so far out of bounds, out of bounds that, right. uh, it wouldn't have been a good catch anyway. Now, David Culver a freshman out of Taliqua, Oklahoma, to try the field goal. He'll be kicking, a, trying a 39-yard field goal. The ball is up. It is no good. Off to the left side. So with 11-19 left to play here in the first half, we'll be back right after this. Game for Todd Spencer. That's Number 49, Jackie Ship on the stop for the Sooners. As you see it here, it's just a straight dive play up the middle. It gets Crutcher, a little bit of blocking, but the defensive line holds steady. 15 carries for 54 yards so far for Crutcher. I would expect Salisbury to throw more with the wind to his back. Right now, he's making it, taking a long time calling the play. I think he's calling an audible here. He's getting an outside blitz. Crutcher down to the 30-yard line. Again, a big hit by number 80, Rick Bryan. He's the junior out of Coweta, Oklahoma, the all-big eight tackle last year. Excellent defensive stand right there for the Oklahoma Sooners. Stopping the Trojans at the 30-yard line, forcing the punt. Now they might have a better chance at field position and try and put some points on the board. Pryor, who's had two punts, one for 45 and one for 60 yards. Scott Case and Steve Hayworth are back. Case is the deep man. Case at the 20. Breaks away from one tackler, but can't get away from the second as number 56, Kennedy Pola, makes the stop. Good open field tackle by Kennedy Pola. Pola, a second string linebacker, just a freshman out of modern day high school in Santa Ana, 6'2", 215 pounder. Nine minutes, 16 seconds left to play here in the first half as you take a look at John Robinson, the outstanding USC coach who came into this year in six years with 59 wins, 11 losses, an 833 percentage, second best in the country. Second to who? The guy across from him, Barry Switzer. Marcus Dupree, number 22, the freshman out of Philadelphia, Mississippi. 
That's about a five yard gain. They'll give him four. When we talked to Barry Switzer yesterday, we asked him if the Oklahoma team had a major weakness, what would it be? And he said the biggest weakness they have is their offensive line. That might be the reason why that Trojan defense is getting to the ball so well today. Sims fires his way across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. Good for the first down. But as you and I talked about on the pregame show, Lynn, you can't, you can't argue with the size of these guys. They've got a freshman starting uh, at left guard tonight, which they figure is their big problem. He's 6'2", 255. They've got a guy 6'3", 275, starting at right tackle. Well, their average offensive line is bigger than the offensive line of the Pittsburgh Steelers and most professional football teams. Four carries, 18 yards for Freddie Sims, the sophomore out of Arizona. He had 181 yards in the Sun Bowl last year, averaging 4.2 yards a carry. Phelps to pass. Got Carter open. Can't hold on. Hopper knocked it away at the last minute. With the exception of that big 40-yard gain earlier in the second quarter, USC has done a good job of defensing their pass. What they've done is they mixed up man-to-man -man coverage and zone. As you see here, Phelps rolls out. They're back in a man-to-man -man coverage in that receiver. Excellent position. Almost, almost picked off. And unless he dropped that ball, I would have called that an interception. I, 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 I couldn't understand what the Trojans were cheering about over there, but that, that's what it was. They thought Browner had made the interception. The official said no. Second down. Still 10 yards to go. Phelps on the reverse. Fumble. And tackled back at the 22-yard line by Byron Darby. Was number 82, Paul Clouis. Clouis is lucky. He got a break on that. It could have been another Oklahoma turnover. Anytime you've got any kind of razzle-dazzle like this, you always stand the chance of a turnover. He flips it. it. He's running too hard into the ball. Lynn, I don't like the way Kelly Phelps flips that ball. He doesn't give you an easy toss. It's not an easy toss. The ball's going end over end, and he's pushing that ball straight out. The ball might be just hitting a bit too hard, especially when the receiver or running back is coming towards the football. Third down, still 10 yards to go. Carter split way out wide to the left side. Phelps trying to throw for him. Same pass play. Carter's there at the 40-yard line. Dale Hopper tripped at the 35. Carter stayed on his feet. And David Carter picks up the reception. They give him forward progress to the 37. That's a big play. Kelly Phipps going here. The Oklahoma team are batting in the run for a second here, going straight to the air. He's running downfield on man-to-man -man coverage. Defensive back falls down. Great concentration by number 89, David Carter. Hopper and Carter. The ball. Hopper and Carter got tangled up. Hopper went down. Actually, Carter tripped, but was able to maintain his poise, just like the fellow sitting right next to me has many, many times. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. Two completions for Kelly Phelps for 78 yards. Two big plays for Oklahoma, both coming through the air. And both to the same guy. Stanley Wilson. Can't turn the corner as Troy West makes the stop. Oh, there's a flag on the play, and you know they're going to call unnecessary roughness going to the head on the tackle. Jack Del Rio talking to the official. It's a face mask call. Here you see it. Now you get a chance to see some of that Oklahoma speed. As number 32, Stanley Wilson gets to the outside. There's Trey West. He's right there, the Good face call. pass. He grabs it. Good call. The Trojans still arguing. John Robinson still arguing. John Robinson knows his Trojan team can't afford to make these kind of mistakes. This is the perfect opportunity if the Trojan defense could have held to have gotten the ball back on offense in excellent field position in the second quarter and possibly pushed it in for another score. It can be very demoralizing to a young football team to have a team in the hole, then for them to come out with a big play like the pass play to Carter, then the big penalty. Oklahoma has caught up in first down. It was 7-1 to one at one time, and now it's 7-7 seven to seven as you take a look at Barry Switzer. I think three of those penalties have, three of those first downs have come by penalty for Oklahoma. Trojan.
Trojans call timeout with 7.03 left to play here in the half. We'll take a timeout and tell you that you it's the score here at Norman, Oklahoma is USC 6, Oklahoma nothing. We'll be back right after this. Phelps out of the wishbone. Is hit behind the line of scrimmage, throws. Intercepted by Joey Bronner. He's at the 20. The 30. And down to the 32-yard line, Joey Bronner, the outstanding defensive back for USC, picks up uh, his first, make that his second interception of the year. Here we see Kelly Phelps. Little, tried to, got caught up in the tackle there. Kia putting pressure on him. A zone defense there. Joey Browner coming up, stepping in front of the receiver, picking it off. Now he picks his way downfield. <laughs> He's tackled by Phelps. See, that was a bad pass by Kelly Phelps. First and ten for the Trojans. On the reverse. To throw is Timmy White. Wide open is Simmons. He's at the 30. Jeff Simmons to the 10. Touchdown USC as Jeff Simmons almost ran out of bounds. Great play by the Trojans. A little bit of razzle-dazzle on their own. Timmy White, number six, a former high school All-American quarterback from New Jersey. Watch it again. Crutcher to White. Broken thumb on all. He's set. He throws. That young Simmons, man's look how open arm. Simmons is. Wide open. It fools everybody. No, watch, watch him almost step out of bounds. Here he goes. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think he could have stepped out of bounds if he wanted to <laughs> on that play. Excellent play by the Trojans coming up at the right time with a bit of rouse and dazzle. 127 yards in passing so far for the Trojans. And that sensational touchdown pass. 6.43 left to play here in the first half as Steve Jordan, who just missed the first extra point of his USC career earlier in this ball game, is set to try for the extra point. Unless the Trojans go for two, which I assume at this stage they probably would, Lynn. I don't know if they if they really would go for two at this point. Sean Salisbury's coming back. Sean Salisbury's coming back. You called it right, Ted. They're going to go for two, try and get back the point they lost. So that the difference in this ball game, so a tie, they can't tie up the ball game with a field goal at some point. A 67-yard reverse pass play from Timmy White to Jeff Simmons. Now we go for two. Flanker on the right side. In motion is Commodore. Salisbury. Oklahoma nothing. A former high school All-American, as I mentioned, from New Jersey, who came here as a quarterback, sent, uh, was sent out as, as a split end in his freshman year. Now, Jordan, set to kick off. Stanley Wilson and Marcus Dupree are deep. Dupree watches it go in and out of the end zone. It'll be first and 10 Oklahoma from the 20-yard line. A little USC razzle-dazzle, man. A little USC razzle-dazzle and psychological. I don't know for sure. Uh, he actually grabbed the face mask and put him the down. Helmet, right? I think what he happened, he went for the tackle. As you can see, Phelps now going to the outside. And there he grabs him, and his arm just comes around the helmet. I don't think he actually pulled him down by the face mask, but the official called the penalty anyway. Looked to me like Phelps did a little face mask grabbing himself there. <laughs> Trying to protect himself. Look at the rushing yards. Is that believable? Oklahoma with two yards rushing, one of the best offenses in the country. I'll tell you what the fans are yelling about here. They want a 15-yard penalty. And the rule is, if it's not a flagrant violation, as Lynn told you, it's not a flagrant violation. It's only a five-yard penalty. That rule is designed to protect the ball carrier so that he doesn't receive excessive blows to the head. In that particular case, a man's trying to make the tackle. You didn't see the violent head movement, the jerk, when someone really grabs the face mask, so it's a five-yard penalty. 6.27 left to play here in the first half. First down, Sooners from the 33. Troy West with the stop for the Trojans. Weldon Ledbetter, number 43 out of St. Louis, Missouri, six foot, 218 pounds senior, averaging 5.5 yards a carry. He's got one reception so far this year, has a total of 17 yards. A 
That's Wilson in motion. Phelps throwing long. Good coverage that time by the Trojans. I'll tell you, Phelps does a good job of getting to his receiver, but there's a flag down back near midfield. Pass was in, intended for Carter, David Carter again. I'll tell you, Carter, with two men surrounding him, almost did a little Lin Swan. What he did, he split those two people covering him, and the ball was thrown right over his head. Uh, in that situation, the ball is out of the reach of the defensive secondary, and if he can get to it, he's not going to be tackled. He, he may fall down, but he can make the catch. Defensive holding charged against the Trojans. That's a costly penalty. That flag, that penalty happened on the other side of the field, away from the play, the intended receiver. Six minutes left to play here in the first half. Trojans lead it 12 to nothing. We're glad you've decided to join us here on this Saturday afternoon here in a beautiful, absolutely a beautiful day for football. The flags are not barely waving in the wind. Up on top of the stadium, there seems to be a little wind, but no wind down on the stadium floor. First and 10 for the Sooners at the 42-yard line. That's the eighth first down for the Sooners. Phelps, quick pass, incomplete, intended for number 82, Paul Kluis. Kluis didn't even turn around until the ball was way past him. Well, e either Phelps was throwing too soon or Lewis thought he had a little more time to get downfield and pick up some yards. Lewis was open, I'll tell you that. Wide open. Daryl Hopper, number 14, is the guy they're picking on over on the right side. Oklahoma is going to the air quite a bit, trying to eat up a lot of ground, trying to get down the, down the field and score quickly here, something they're not accustomed to doing. Hopper working against David Carter, wide to Oklahoma's right side. Second and 10, Phelps to pass. Throwing complete to 45, 50. Still on his feet and finally run out of bounds at the 30-yard line. There's number 43 for Oklahoma. That's Weldon Ledbetter, the fullback who had only caught one pass for 16 yards coming to this game, but he was wide open on the left side. Wide open, as you, we can see here now on the replay. Phelps, a little play action fake there, and it's a screen. As he faked to the Ledbetter there in the middle, then he turns around. Throws it to him coming out of that on the sideline. Now here's a chance for a tackle. He gets a great block downfield by number 83, Hank Norman, and he goes down another 10 yards. 83, Hank, 83 is Johnny Fontanet for Oklahoma. Oh, made great block. Up the middle, led better for a couple. Number 83, Hank Norman is on the Trojans. That's right, I have my flip card turned over on the wrong side, Ted. <laughs> Brian Luft with the stop that time. Second and six for the Sooners is there deep in Trojan territory again. As we look at the Ohio team on offense here, keep in mind the big plays that they made in the first half. They've demonstrated an ability to, to gain the gain big yards, which might do them very well in the comeback effort here. Ledbetter crossing the 25 down to about the 24-yard line. Ricky Gray makes the stop. If this Oklahoma offense is able to put together a number of those big plays in one drive without the penalties, they can have points on the board faster than... Uh, well, not certainly not faster than the <laughs> Trojans, 12 seconds. That's faster than what? I don't know, but very quickly. <laughs> 4.45 left to play here in the first half. Third down. The Sooners are only one for six on third down tries. And they're not going to get this one as Ledbetter was hit immediately in the backfield. That's number 78, Georgia Chica, the first man to get him. 91, Matt Court on the, on the stop. Loss of a yard. So fourth down now and about three yards to go. And the Sooners feel they got to go for it. Watch a Chica get in there. Here it is Boom. again. A Chica gets in there, stops some cold in his tracks, and now the rest of the team comes in to make sure he's down. There are four minutes to go here in the first half. Big fourth down play for the Trojans. Phelps looking to throw incomplete. He was throwing for David Carter, and Troy West was all over David Carter. He didn't have a prayer of completing that one, and the Trojan defense rises to the task again. That time the secondary had him covered in man coverage, so he was covered one-on-one. -on -one. Town cell is wide right. 
48 seconds remaining in the third. A timeout is called. Steady coming up with the big play. I tell you, you just cannot say, say enough about this USC defense and the job they've done. So far, uh, Oklahoma is, is a team that uh, has been averaging 32 uh, first downs a game rushing. Fred Crutcher fumbles the ball, and Oklahoma recovers. Number 39, Kevin Murphy on the recovery. And the Sooners take over again. 3.53 left to play here in the first half, and the Trojan defense is going to have to come alive again. That's number 80, Rick Bryan, coming off the field. How long can the Trojan defense hold as Kelly Phelps brings his team to the line of scrimmage? Phelps cuts up and can't turn the corner as Georgia Chica first tripped him along with Jack Del Rio. There's Ricky Gray, number 35, who was born in Christchurch, New Zealand, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Total of only 16 rushing yards in 22 plays for Oklahoma. That is absolutely incredible. This is a team that averages 5.2 yards a carry. Phelps, the little flip pass. And down at the 20-yard line, knocked down there by Troy West, is number 13, Steve Sewell. Three minutes left to play in the first half now. Sewell is a sophomore. He's from San Francisco, a 6'4", 200-pound, straight-A student out of San Francisco. Gets the flip pass there from Phelps. There's time. Right after the 28-27, we'll be right back. Third down play. Oklahoma is one for seven on third down plays. Phelps to pass. Throws incomplete. He had number 82, Paul Cluis, open again. But Cluis couldn't come up with the ball as Hopper was there. Daryl Hopper out of Carson. Phelps is, is so far three for 12 for 108 yards on three big plays. Fourth down now, still six yards to go. And the Sooners are gonna go for it. This time, David Carter splits out wide to the right side. In motion is Wilson. Phelps to pass. Throws back across the field, incomplete. Over the head of number 43, Weldon Ledbetter. And the Sooner fans are booing here in Norman, Oklahoma, as the Trojan defense is held. Phelps did not make a good pass that time because Ledbetter was open. Coming back to the opposite side as you take a look at these Sooner fans here in Norman, Oklahoma. And with 2.40 to go in the first half, the Trojans take over again. I'm Ted Dawson along with Lynn Swan. Lynn will be on the field at halftime with some interviews, the various players here. He'll be talking with Coach John Robinson and Barry Switzer as Sean Salisbury working out of the I formation as it first and 10 from the 20. The give us to Todd Spencer. He falls forward to about the 23-yard line. Clock ticking away from two and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Todd Spencer, 5'11", 195-pound junior from Berkeley. Has 25 yards so far. Second down, eight yards to go. Salisbury, who will probably be content to keep it on the ground. Crutcher to the 28-yard line. Todd Spencer with a good block for him as Rick Bryan makes yet another tackle. What a superb defensive lineman. One forty-seven left to play here in the first half. Trojans lead it on third down. Still two yards to go. Salisbury trying to keep this drive alive on the long count. Crutcher. First down to the 35-yard line. Daryl Sungi, number 16, with the stop. As Crutcher gets the help up from Todd Spencer. 
big first down for the Trojans as they keep the ball away from this explosive Oklahoma offense. Fred Cornwell helped off the field for the Trojans. Mark Boyer, number 86. Pat McCool, who is the second string tight end, did not make the trip. McCool, who has one reception for a touchdown so far this year, is injured back in Los Angeles. Now Cornwell goes out, and Mark Boyer is in at tight end. Spencer. To about the 38-yard line, there's 110 left to play here in the first half. There are some of the Sooner cheerleaders who have come down here for the game. This, I can't tell you enough what a beautiful stadium this is in Norman, Oklahoma. Seats 78,000. And they have been filled for 49 straight ball games. 49 consecutive sellouts here in Norman. Second down, seven yards to go. High formation, Crutcher is the tailback, and he gets the pitch. Around the right side, falls forward to the 43-yard line. Number 39, Kevin Murphy, defensive end and linebacker, makes the stop. A Plano, Texas sophomore. 100 yards now for the USC rushing offense. 73 of those from Fred Crutcher, as you watch him again. Number 49 out of Blair High School in Pasadena. Third down, a little over a yard to go. Ten seconds left to play here in the first half. And this will be the last play of the half as Crutcher gets caught for a loss back at the 40-yard line. But the clock ticks away. Run. That's the end of the first half here at Norman with USC on top. 12 to nothing. We'll be back right after this. Third down, Sean Salisbury to Jimmy Ware complete. And Jimmy gets it down to the Oklahoma 12-yard line. Third down again, the pitch to Fred Crutcher. And he takes the ball down to the three. Three plays later from the two, play action fake to Crutcher, and there is John Kamina wide open in the end zone. Six nothing lead, second quarter. Kelly Phelps of Oklahoma throws deep to David Carter. Defender Daryl Hopper tripped and fell on the play. The pass complete, but then the Trojans defense prevailed once again. Joey Browner with this interception, he returns it to the Trojan 32 yard line on the very next play. Razzle dazzle. Salisbury on the reverse Timmy White finds Jeff Simmons wide open and Simmons will take it to complete a 68 yard touchdown play both conversion tries by the Trojans back there a one point of the first time and a two point of the second time were no good but the Trojans lead a second half so let's get back to it as soon as we can Thank you very much, Lynn Swan. Down in the field, the Trojans will take over first and 20 from their own 20-yard line. They will be going against the wind, what little wind there is here in Norman, Oklahoma. Here in the third quarter, they'll have the wind to their back in the all-important fourth quarter. Sean Salisbury brings his team up to the line of scrimmage where Timmy Ware is split out wide to the left side along with Jeff Simmons. The give to Crutcher around the left side. He's at the 25, sticks his head down and bowls his way to the 28-yard line. Number 10, little Scott Case making the stop there. He's only a 180-pound junior out of Edmond, Oklahoma, but a tough, tough football player. As you look at Fred Crutcher, number 49, and Timmy Ware, number 19, we look at it again. Sean Salisbury, the give to Crutcher. Now, good cut here. Excellent job by Fred Crutcher as he moved out of the way of the tackle. Number 98, Danny Wilson. Trojans going for the first down. Todd Spencer looking for it. Can't quite get to the 30-yard line. That's Rick Bryan getting up off the bottom of the pile. Spencer has carried eight times for a total of 34 yards. Third down and just the point of the ball between the Trojans and a first down. Crutcher with the first down. That's the 10th first down for the Trojans this afternoon. Kevin Murphy on the stop. Crutcher took a good hit. 13 minutes and 50 seconds left to play in this third quarter. USC out on top, 12 to nothing. As I mentioned earlier, Oklahoma has not been shut out in 181 football games.
Crutcher. Near the 40-yard line, they may give his forward progress closer to the uh, four, 39. Joe Murray, the big 6'5", 265-pound senior left guard with a good tackle on that play. Second down and about three yards to go. 81 yards so far for Freddie Crutcher. High formation. Strong to the left side. Flanker on the right. Fake the gift to Crutcher. Salisbury, plenty of time to pass. Throw back to Crutcher. He tackled on an excellent tackle at the 36-yard line by number 88, Mike Weddington out of Temple, Texas. 6'2", 240-pound senior defensive end. It'll be a loss on the play of about three yards. Kelly Thomas, the 6'6", 270-pound senior, is injured as you take a look at Weddington with a superb stop on Fred Crutcher. If Crutcher could have gotten by Weddington, he had a little running room because he had some men in front of him. That's Kelly Thomas, the injured player. 6'6", 270-pound senior from La Mirada. The USC out on top, 12 to nothing. It's third down, still seven yards to go. The Trojans are six for nine in third down conversions so far. Kelly Thomas, by the way, went off the field on his own power. Crutcher to the 40, 41, two-yard line. He did not make the first down. Reminder, Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock, the world premiere of At the Movies here on Channel 7. Don't miss that. At the Movies, I think you'll find it very, very enjoyable, an inside look at the movies and what's coming up in various movies as you take a look at Barry Switzer, who's not going to be enjoying the movies he's seen so far this afternoon. David Pryor averaging 44 yards a punt so far in the game with Scott Case back deep. High spiraling kick, fair catch. Case calling for it, fumbles it. Ball rolls out of bounds at the 14-yard line. It'll be the Oklahoma ball. Lynn Swan joins me back here in the booth now after being down on the field talking with head coach John Robinson. Lynn, did you feel that John was optimistic at this stage? I thought John was optimistic. He felt very comfortable under control. He was very pleased with the way his team performed. As you can see there, hustling, trying to pick up that fumble. And he felt that what he really had to change was just a little... The give us the lead better right up the middle in the USC Trojan uh, defense right on top of the play. Big Georgia Chica right there in the middle of it. Number 48, Tim Sullivan right there. Sullivan, a senior out of Massachusetts, New York. You know where that is? I have no idea. <laughs> have you been there before, Ted? Never. Sullivan was a lacrosse player, by the way, in high school. An outstanding lacrosse player. I was once told that Jim Brown, NFL great, was once one of the best the lacrosse best. players All American, absolutely. Country. Good job of avoiding Byron Darby's tackle there by Phelps. And he picks up a couple of yards on the play. The USC defense continues to be very, very excellent here at the beginning of the second half. Barry Switzer just commenting before he went in. We saw, we're sorry we couldn't get him on camera. But that defensive line is just big and strong. As you can see there, putting pressure on Phelps. Akia was outside that play right there from his nose guard uh, position to give you some idea of his speed. From what I've seen so far, Lynn, I would have to agree with Barry Switzer's determination that his offensive line is not real good. <laughs> Third down. Phelps, plenty of time to pass. Throwing for Carter incomplete. Hopper right on top of Carter that time. And the Sooner fans are real unhappy. Well, I think they're happy because they're looking at a Sooner offense not doing what it's famous for. I Their trademark is running the ball, running the ball effectively on any team they play. And here, the Trojan defensive line is putting pressure on them constantly. The secondary is coming up making the big tackles, stopping their outside game and inside game. And when they go through the air, they've had good coverage so far, aside from a couple of mistakes. Phelps is four for 16 for 114 yards. Keeling with the kick. Browner takes it at the 38, fumbles it. And now looking for help. Flag goes down. Browner gets a couple of yards upfield, but I think they're gonna, gonna be a clipping penalty against Georgia Chica. One of the interesting things 
uh, Lynn, the, you didn't hear the first half statistics. The Trojan defense has held Oklahoma, one of the best offensive teams in the country, to 22 net yards in the first half. Now that is a great stat, and that is a sign of what great defense the Trojans are playing. Number 49 out of Stillwater. Third down, still a yard to go. Crutcher turns the corner and just barely picks up the first down. Daryl Sanji, the man knocking him down. And Crutcher's hurt. A senior from Miami. Second and 10, 24. Getting pressure. Smith, almost intercepted. That would have put the lead. Watch the play again. All right, Salisbury flips it off to Crutcher. He gets outside. You don't see Kamanani, but he get, gets a good block. And watch here as he jumps over right there in his head. And while he's upside down, Sanji hits him. Sanji hits him, just kind of falls on top of him, but he falls on top of him while his neck is pinched on the ground, pinned to the ground with his shoulders up above his neck. A pass all year long. And Ware has caught three for 56 yards so far. Very big game he's having. Salisbury, low, po low play action there to hold the rush. Very excellent pass. You know, Barry Switzer felt that USC lost to Florida because we showcased Salisbury too much. Well, certainly he's doing an outstanding job, and showcasing him is, may help the Trojans win this game. Nine for 14, 137 yards for Sean Salisbury. Zeppeli. Pretty good run by from a Dark Lee. Bruce Matthews with a good block. Zephrini Lee, a sophomore, 204 pounder, out of San Francisco. The middle win. Zepp Lee tries to pick his way around and is met by a host of senior tacklers at the 47 yard line. We mentioned, we mentioned earlier that when UCLA was down 21 0, that it was not an impossible task. It was no, but when in the face of this USC offense, as we see here again, Zeppeli getting the ball here, going up, going to the outside, but can't get the block, cuts it up inside so he doesn't lose too much. Mike Weddington with a good stop. Also John Blake and Rick Bryan in on the play. Third down, three yards to go. Salisbury now being chased out of the pocket, gets it away, Spencer. That's a helmet that went flying, not the ball at the 43-yard line. It's going to be close to a first down. That is a great effort by Sean Salisbury, great who was just a sophomore. by Salisbury to get the ball off. He is under pressure, maintains his poise, as we'll look at it again on instant replay. And watch. He gets some pressure. He Nobody's open right now. Now, he, now, he's looking for somebody to throw it to. He finds Spencer right there. Who, almost, who bobbles it there a little bit, almost drops it. Now watch this contact. Right there, head down, lower, lower than the defensive man. He pops it off, and it's good for the first down, the Jack, second effort. Jackie Ship lost his helmet on that play. 13th first down for the Trojans. Salisbury against the wind, throws complete. Cornwell run out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Fred Cornwell, who caught the winning touchdown against Oklahoma last year. Caught only three passes all year long, but one of them was the winning touchdown. 6.50 left to play we'll here see in the, the third quarter. We'll see this again. Just a little short out pass to Fred Cornwell. there as he gets it, and then gets tapped out of bounds. 11 for 16, 145 yards for Sean Salisbury. John Robinson's been telling everybody how great he can be, and Sean Salisbury's showing it this afternoon. Zeppeli crushed at the 38-yard line. We started talking about the defense of Oklahoma and how much it improved, but as I didn't finish saying, in face of this USC offense, which doesn't possess the great running backs, the Marcus Allen, the O.J. Simpson type back, average backs, good receivers, is presenting a balanced offensive attack with a good sound strategy. That defense, as improved as it may be, just cannot keep up, cannot predict, anticipate what SC is going to do next. So it's that teamwork, that team effort and balance that is causing USC's offense to dominate their defense at this point. Big third down. Six yards to go. Straight back to pass to Salisbury. 
Now he's hit, fumbles the ball. Fourth down, and Salisbury recovers his own fumble. Good pressure by the Oklahoma defense. One of the interesting things is, Lynn, when you and I were talking with Barry Switzer as we watched this play again, tons of pressure on Salisbury this time. Number 80, Brian, their outstanding tackle, is the man who makes the stop on him. Well, that time, he didn't see the pressure coming, so he didn't have an opportunity to look for a place to run. Just good defensive pass rush by Pryor, Oklahoma. Kicking from the 45. High spiraling kick. Trojans have a chance to down this in good shape, but it bounces too high. It'll be first and 10 for Oklahoma from the 20-yard line with 5.26 left to play here in the third quarter. USC on top by a score of 12 to nothing. One of the points we were, I started to make, when, when, we, when you and I talked with Barry Switzer yesterday, he did not believe it when we told him that USC had changed their offense, that they were now more of a balanced act. He just flat didn't believe it. He says, he says when I watched them against Florida, he said that didn't look like USC. I said, I told Bar Barry, as you look at John Robinson, that may be the new USC team. Well, I think John is, is showing us what coaching can do for a team. He doesn't have the gift at running back, so what he has to do is use the talent he has wisely, showcasing Salisbury's talent as a quarterback as USC's defense just put Phelps on the turf for a loss of about five yards. Jack Del Rio, the sophomore out of Hayward, California, the outstanding All-American high school player, watch this stop by Del Rio on Phelps. Kelly Phelps doesn't have a chance. He Back at the 15-yard line. And Keith Browner is right there in case he'd gotten away. This young USC defense is playing great football. 35 yards in sacks so far for the USC defense. Stanley Wilson with very little ground before Byron Darby wraps him up. Darby is the leading tackler among the linemen on this squad so far. He had 16, four for losses coming in. Four and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. USC on top by a score of 12 to nothing. Third down, still 12 yards to go. Sooners have the wind to their back. Fred Carter bringing in a play from the sideline. Carter is number 89. Kelly Phelps is number seven. Oklahoma is one for 11 on third down conversions. Phelps being chased out of the pocket. Throws complete to Wilson, and he's tackled back at the eight-yard line. That's Keith Browner, number 57. You can't say enough superlatives. Oh, oh, this young defense is playing excellent. They knew they had to be aware of the, of the pass plays once they got in trouble, paying too much attention to the run. As we see Phelps with a little play action, now he's looking to his left. Now he's coming back right. He finds his man open, but excellent coverage by the linebacker. Staying Keith with Browner. his man. Browner get, getting in for the tackle. Keeling to kick. Out of his own end zone. Joey Browner back in single safety. Good kick. Drives Browner to the 32. He's to the 40. And fights his way back to the 49-yard line. That's a little bit of that Browner connection there. Keith Browner making a great stop on defense. And his brother, Joey Browner, returning the punt for the USC Trojans. Keith Browner is a junior. Joey Browner is a senior, both from Atlanta. Here's some of the extracurricular activities here in Oklahoma. 321 left to play in the third quarter. 12 to nothing our score. Trojans again with excellent field position. Zepp Lee to about the 48-yard line. Jackie Schiff makes the stop along with John Truitt, number 41. Truitt is from Southern California, Banning High School, where he played with Stanley Wilson. Big 8 honorable mention defensive end last year. John Truitt, 6'3", 220-pound junior. Second down, seven yards to go. Anthony Gibson gets close to the 45. Rick Bryan, number 80, on the bottom of the pile. And John Truitt there again. 140 yards in rushing offense for the Trojans so far in 41 carries. 
Kelly Thompson limp limping off the field here. We hope that injury for him is not too serious. He's done Kelly a Thomas job. is a fellow who was shaken up earlier in the ball game. Third down, four yards to go. Anthony Gibson. Flag is down, as so is Gibson. Did not pick up the first down as he goes down around the 43-yard line. Let's take note, Ted, for a minute of this possession by USC. Three running plays. They don't get the first down. They've got a flag on this particular play, which will probably be declined as we watch Salisbury handing the ball off here. One and of the Anthony problems Gibson. to Anthony Gibson, one of the problems of having only a 12-point lead is getting conservative. Oklahoma has demonstrated the ability to score quickly, to, to move the ball quickly with some big plays. The mistakes have killed them. They can still put points on the scoreboard very quickly. If USC becomes too conservative at this point in the game, they could put themselves in the hole by not getting out of bad field position, by not moving the ball down and possessing it. Oklahoma has decided to take the penalty. It'll put the Trojans back at their own 44-yard line. The Trojans have had eight penalties for 60 yards so far. I think I would have just refused the penalty and taken the fourth down. USC Trojans have done a good job at passing the ball, and with one more play, they could pick up a first down. Third and 14. And motion is where? Salisbury fumbles the ball. And he is down at the 34-yard line. So, a good decision by the Sooners. It turns out to be most inopportune time for the Trojans to make a mistake as Salisbury goes back, and he just loses it, coming out from behind the center, picks it up, and one knee on the ground, which means the ball is dead there. Dave Pryor is set to kick for the Trojans. Scott Case and Steve Hayworth deep. Neither punter has been exceptional so far in this game, but right now the Trojans could use a big punt to get them out of poor field position, and they don't get it. Fair catch called at the 28-yard line. Scott Case takes it there. And as you look at the Oklahoma cheerleaders, we've got one minute left to play here in the third quarter. USC on top by a score of 12 to nothing, and we'll be back right after this. We're Complete at the 15-yard line. To the 20, down to about the 24-yard line. Where it'll still be third down and about 11 yards to go. Daryl Hopper making the stop there. And Dwayne Bickett. We see the Freddie play here Sims again. with the reception. Danny Bradley, a sophomore out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Fred Sims, the second string fullback. Barry Switzer making the change to QB, trying to get something moving here for the Oklahoma offense. He's also one of the Oklahoma players injured down on the field, which is what the timeout on the field is for. And unfortunately, the coaches gathered around in there. And I, I apologize, I cannot see who it is. Number 41 there for the Trojans is Tony Brewer. Steve Williams, number 76, apparently the man that's injured. You're looking at Troy West, number nine for the Trojans. And Williams is up. Steve Williams, 6'2", 280 pounds senior out of Lakewood, Colorado. Boy, I tell you. 280 pounds. You, you could lose a lot of weight running around him. <laughs> I think one of the breaks for the Trojans is the fact that it is a good day here in Norman, Oklahoma. It's not too hot. Nice weather, great day for playing football. No one's going to get tired out by the weather here. Third down, long yardage. And the gun goes off before the Sooners can get the playoff here at the end of the third quarter. So we go to the final quarter of play here in Norman, Oklahoma. The score, USC 12, Oklahoma nothing. Back with the final quarter right after this. Some folks just can't figure out. Throwing complete at what the 42 yard catch. line. No, they say he dropped it. Oh. Number 89, David Carter, the guy who's made two sensational catches so far, dropped it just as he hit the turf. And Almost up another sensational catch. That would have been a first down as you watch it again. Danny Bradley here dropping back to pass. He's not too big, but he seems to have a very strong arm. He throws the ball out to the sideline and watch him leave his feet fully extended. Ooh, I don't know about Joe. that. I don't know. <laughs> that's a close like call. He might have caught it. Uh, that's a close call. We'll give that one to USC easy. 
Keeling punting into the wind. Short kick. Once again, Joey Browner does not field the kick. And Keeling is going to improve his punting average a lot here this afternoon as he drives the Trojans clear back to the 15-yard line. As we take a look at some stats here so far, first downs, USC again dominating 12 to 7. Look at the yards rushing. That is the most unbelievable statistic you will ever see against the University of Oklahoma. I'm sure they don't believe it. 12 yards rushing for Oklahoma. If you can point to one stat to be the key, the key sign of what the Trojans are doing, the key sign for victory, that rushing stat is it. They've taken away the strength of this Oklahoma football team. 14-42, left to play in the ball game. Salisbury moving now with the wind to his back. Zepp Lee hit right at the line of scrimmage. Number 83 making the stop for Oklahoma. That's Johnny Fontenet. She's here, Salisbury There's pitching it back. Again, the short pitch into the sideline. Zeph Lee. Boy, good defense by the Sooners. Zephyrini Lee. Check it. That was 93. Tom Flemons who made the stop. Todd Spencer moves up about five yards to the 20-yard line, but the Trojans will still have five yards to go. Make it six as they give him forward progress only to the 19. Third down, six yards to go. Gives me a chance to remind you about Howard Cosell's Sports Beat tomorrow afternoon at 4.30 here on Channel 7. Howard will have the complete information on the NFL player strike and also a personal profile on California Angels pitcher Tommy John. 13.40 left to play in the ball game. Trojans on top, 12 to nothing. USC who's 7 for 11 and third down conversion. Salisbury under a rush is swapped down back at the 13-yard line. Man making the stop for Oklahoma, number 68, Bob Slater. Salisbury just, <laughs> just didn't have enough time. He was looking downfield. As you see him, a little play action, rolling out. And what he's looking at downfield, he's got a receiver that's just about to break open, but Slater Oklahoma defense won't give him the time as Bob Slater, number 68, pulls him down for the sack. So now, because of that sensational punt by Keeling, the Sooners are going to have good... Uh, formation or I mean good field, field position. position and now it's up to David Pryor who's averaging 42 yards a kick so far it's a low kick a line drive 31 <laughs> fumbled by case and it goes back to the 26 yard line so the Trojans get a break as case fumbles it behind him and loses about five yards on that last series the Trojans had the ball I am I'm very concerned with the fact that they have now really begun to get too conservative. There's Casey Case. here. Casey fumbling that punt, missing an opportunity to advance the ball and give the Oklahoma offense a little better field position. But I'm surprised that the USC offensive team did not try a play action pass on first or second down just to keep the Oklahoma defense off balance. Yeah, they waited until third down to do it. 12.44 left to play. Bradley looks, throws, come complete to Carter, he pitches out, and finally run out of bounds at number 82, Paul Clewis. <laughs> oh, take that play, a page right out of the Miami Dolphin playbook. We saw that last year in the playoff game. Went the distance for a touchdown to help Miami to go on to win the football game here. A little short pass. Now this is receiver. Marcus Dupree here. And then he flips it out to Marcus Dupree, who is trailing the play. Joey Browner very alertly runs him out of bounds. Big play for the Sooners. Ball at the 39-yard line of the Trojans. Sooners have come up with some big plays today. Bradley hands off to the fullback who fights his way to about the 36-yard line. That's Troy West, number nine. Number 90, Brian Lofton off the bottom of the pile. That was Fred Sims, the sophomore out of Tucson. The quarterback, number one, Danny Bradley, is only a sophomore. Certainly has demonstrated the ability to put the ball right on the target. In a short time, he's been taking the snap. Bradley cannot turn up field. Play goes down on Keith Browner, and they're going to call a face mask again, I believe. Mistakes. 
Mistakes will hurt any football team. Trojans holding on to a 12-point lead. By no 50. means left to play here in the ball game. By no means the biggest of margins to sit back, sit back to sit back on. Can't afford to get the costly penalty to face mask. It's going to be another. The third, be another five yards. The third penalty of this nature. Right. Here's your referee, John McClintock. The Oklahoma fans are not at all thrilled with John McClintock's ruling. Second down, three yards to go. Good defense once again by the Trojans. As Stanley Wilson gets it across at 30, close to a first down. Looks like he may have missed that first down by about a half yard. Check that that was 22, Marcus Dupree again. The freshman out of Philadelphia, Mississippi, who Barry Switzer called the finest high school athlete in the country last year. 11-19, left to play. Trojans lead 12 to nothing. Third down. Can the Trojans stop him again? They stopped him twice on short yardage situations. But not that time. It may be close, Ted. It may be very, very close. I think they might have to measure this one. They must, his knee must have gone down earlier because. Fourth down. They're not going to measure it. it. They're calling down. it fourth down. The Trojan defense again holds him in a critical short yard situation. Well, there's no doubt as to what the Sooners are going to do this time. But they're going to call timeout before they do it. <laughs> Get a little rest. So with 10.38 left to play in the ball game, the score, USC 12, Oklahoma nothing. I'm Ted Dawson along with Lynn Swan, and we'll be back. We're right not giving you the full one-minute timeout. So while we were gone, Danny Bradley took the quarterback sneak. It looked to me like he had plenty for the first down, but apparently they're going to measure. Again, in college football, it's wherever the knee goes down, and he got it by punch. His knee dropped down pretty close. That's the 10th first down for the Sooners so far. As you see, total offense. Southern California dominating the ball game, but the Sooners on the drive here from the 29-yard line. The most important stat, of course, is the number of points on the scoreboard. Two touchdown passes, one from Sean Salisbury and one from Timmy White. Bradley gets away from one tackler, and he's at the 21-yard line before Joey Browner makes the stop on him. Good game by Bradley. Clock ticking away from 10 minutes left to play here in the game. There's Bradley, number one. Bradley shows Jack Del Rio can't quite hold on. Pretty good arm strength and good balance there as he Georgia stays Chica up. couldn't get him. Joey Browner coming up, making another tackle. There was no doubt about Browner's tackle. Bradley has carried five times for 15 yards. Sims with very little gain. Georgia Chica right there to meet him. I tell you, nobody is stopping a Chica today. He's been in the backfield all afternoon. I think Georgia Chica is the man who is allowing the USC defense the ability, the maneuverability to go out there and chase down the outside. He is taking care of the inside almost single-handedly. Steve Sewell checks back into the ball game, replacing Marcus Dupree. The Sooners, who are two for 12 today on third down conversion. Bradley pitching out to Wilson. Wilson's got some running room. Finally run out of bounds by Joey Browner at the 10 yard line. And that's the best run the former Banning High School star has made today. Yes, indeed. Big first down. Just inside the 10 yard line as we see Bradley faking the inside dive, getting pressure. Now he makes a good pitch. Good block there that time by Steve Sewell, number 13. Stanley Wilson getting the first down, then being driven out of bounds by who else? Joey Brown. Wilson Joey has Brown. carried only four times today for a total of only 19 yards. Incredible. And he got most of it on that play. Sims fights his way to the seven-yard line. Five 
Byron Darby off the bottom of the stack. 8.50 left to play in the ball game. Trojans holding on to a 12 to nothing lead. Oklahoma has not been shut out for 181 consecutive ball games. The way they're moving the ball now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a shutout. Important second for the Oklahoma goal Sooners. Get from points the seven the yard line. Bradley. Caught for a loss at the 11 yard line by Georgia Chica. Once again, Georgia Chica. Third down and goal from the 10. So 8 14 left to play. Excuse me, Lynn. Georgia Chica again showing why he could possibly be a number one, number one draft choice. After this is last year for the Trojans. 6'5", 260-pound senior out of San Jose. How big a play is this for the Sooners? <laughs> First, third and goal from the 10-yard line. The Sooners throughout this quarter have seemed to have most of the momentum. A good stand here by the Trojan defense might be able to take it away from them. The Sooners are third and 13. Bradley's got some running room. Run out of bounds at the five. It's fourth down. Fourth down and goal. Very heads up play right there by the Trojan defense. Jack Del Rio. Danny Bradley had running room to the outside, going horizontally, but the defensive secondary came up and instead of trying to be overly aggressive going in, getting faked out and missing the tackle, just kept him boxed in, pinned him up against the sideline and pushed him out of bounds. David Carter, number 89, has brought a play in from Barry Switzer on the sideline. Here it is, fourth down. Fourth and goal from the five-yard line. There's the, the pitch. pitch out to Wilson. Wilson no. stopped. <laughs> Pinned up against the sideline at about the two-yard line and pushed out of bounds. Great play by Troy West on the tackle. We'll be right back after this commercial. On eight yards to go. Zeppeli over his left guard picks up three or four down near the eight-yard line. Our congratulations to UCLA with their big victory over Michigan, and certainly the Bruins are proving that they belong up there among the top teams in the country. The undefeated UCLA Bruins under head coach Terry Donahue. What a game that, is that going to be when uh, UCLA and USC get together this year? Six and a half minutes left to play. Third down, four yards to go. Big third down play for the Trojans as they try to keep from having to punt the ball away. Common on motion. Zeppeli to the 10 and no more. Kevin Murphy, number 39, makes the stop and it'll be punting time for the USC Trojans. Six minutes left to play in the ball game. And Oklahoma trying to keep from being shut out for the first time in 181 games. There's an injured player down the field as we watch this instant replay. Salisbury pitching it back. Blocked from Spencer. Lee taking the ball right outside, inside, not wanting to take the chance of putting the ball in the air while they were pinned down up against their own end zone. It's fourth okay, down. Okay, you're Oklahoma. All right, we'll be back. With 6-12 left to play, Thomas Benson down on the field. We'll be back for the USC punt right after this. If you could only appreciate what you... Three prefer. seconds left to play here in the ball game. USC on top. The Sooners do not give the big rush. Fryer kicks it to the 36. That's Stanley Wilson. Wilson breaks one tackle. He breaks another. He's at the 50, but there's a flag down. Flags are down back at the 45-yard line, and I'm sure it's going to be a clip against the Sooners. Very obvious clip against the Sooners. When I started to ask you before we had to break away, you're the Sooners. Wouldn't you think you might make a big rush for that for that punt? If I were the Sooners, I certainly would have tried to come in and block the punt. You block the punt, even if it goes out of the end zone, it's a safety. You get two points at least in the ball back. If not, they kick the ball away, you fair catch it, neither kick or Way down the field. So you have the ball somewhere around midfield, and it's your ball. Our information here in Norman is that UCLA came from a 21 to nothing deficit in Michigan to win that ball game, which shows what kind of a ball club they are. 
That's the third penalty for 35 yards against the Sooners, and that is certainly a costly penalty, as that puts them clear back to the 31-yard line. Wilson had him in, in uh, Trojan territory. 5.47 left to play. Strategically, this could be a big series for the Trojans. If they can stop Oklahoma here, they'll get the ball back with fairly decent field position and maybe put the ball in the air a little bit more. Bradley to pass. Broken up, incomplete. Troy West, the man who knocked the ball in the air, Pass was intended for 82, Paul Kluis, the sophomore out of Oklahoma City. One thing to be aware of, David Carter, who's made the big plays passing, pass receiving so far, has rushed one time for 42 yards on a reverse. So far this year, Bradley passing so far, two for four for a total of 36 yards, second and 10. Danny Bradley rolling right. Throwing deep, and his man is well covered. Intercepted at the 25-yard line by Daryl Hopper, number 14. That pass should have never been thrown, Ted. Daryl Hopper had his man completely covered. As we see, Danny Bradley rolling out. All of his receivers to his right. Winds up, throws, and as we see here at the bottom of the screen, Dow Hooper is deeper than the receiver and makes an excellent catch for the interception. A Hopper. big break for the Trojans. Hopper's second interception of the year. Joey Browner right back there with him. And more and more with five and a half minutes left to play, the Trojan defense has been so sensational all afternoon long. May stop an Oklahoma team that hasn't been shut out in 181 games. Todd Spencer picks up the first down. Crossing the 35 to the 37. Big run by Todd Spencer giving that first down. Maybe a, a bit earlier, Ted, I may have spoken a little bit too hastily about USC not, <laughs> not, uh, not shutting out this Oklahoma deep, uh, team. As Todd Spencer has carried the ball 11 times for 54 yards. First and 10. Ball almost the 37. Anthony Gibson. Down to about the 39. I thought for sure earlier in the fourth quarter that the Oklahoma team would at least get a field goal, but Barry oh. Switzer filling his team behind by 12 points felt fourth down. You got to go for the touchdown. Can't waste time. Uh, it's some of the early ones for the field goals. That if that man is hurt, that is a terrible injury for Oklahoma because that's Rick Bryan, 6'4", 260 pound junior, the All American candidate, the All Big Eight defensive tackle, out of Coweta, Oklahoma. And he is the best defensive player on this team. One of the best defensive players in the country. We certainly hope it's not serious. Notre Dame leading Purdue 28 to 14. That's to go for the Trojans. Five minutes left to play in the ball game. The Trojans in absolute command of this ball game at this stage. They have totally dominated the USC offense. Spencer. Picks up a couple of yards, no more. Totally dominated the Oklahoma defense and offense. Well, you've got to give a lot of credit to the Oklahoma defense here in the second half. They played extremely well. They provided the team with some momentum and some great opportunities to score, but the offense came up short. 150 yards rushing so far for USC. Third down, still five yards to go. Ball on the 42. Jeff Simmons wide to the right side. He's caught one touchdown pass so far today. Salisbury, plenty of time to throw. Completes it to Gibson. Gibson breaks one tackle and is down close to a first down. From where they're marking it, Ted, I, I think I'm pretty sure he's got that first down. Good bit of running on his part. Jerry Sanders with a stop as you watch it again. Watch the time Salisbury has to throw. He's got plenty of time. They give him, a, give him a lot of time. Gets the ball off to Gibson there on the side. Now Gibson's, he stopped right here, keeps his balance, uses his leg strength, breaks away. The second effort gives the team the first down as Johnny Robinson looks on, shouting a bit of encouragement to his team. Salisbury, 12 for 17 for 151 yards, 14 first downs for the Trojans. 347 left to play. Gibson can't get outside. Number 19, Keith Stanberry making the stop. 
Mike Weddington also helping out. 326 left to play in the ball game. USC holding on here. Second down, eight yards to go. All the scoring in the first half. A one-yard pass from Salisbury to John Kamina and a 67-yard pass from Timmy White on the reverse to Jeff Simmons. Todd Spencer picks up a couple of more yards and it'll be third down, still fairly long yardage. We saw John Robinson there on the sideline taking a little sip of water, thirsty from the heat and from the work <laughs> he's doing today. When we talked to him yesterday, he said that because of the balance, and not again, we keep going back to the superstar talent that's missing from USC's offense, that this would be more of a coach's game. The strategy, selection of plays, the execution would be the most important things. And certainly, we have to give a great deal of credit to John Robinson and his coaching staff. This team came in from Southern California very well prepared, set for anything they might see. The defense has done an excellent job of stopping Oklahoma. Offense ex executing perfectly down the field to give them this 12-point lead. Third down. Five yards to go. Salisbury with the pitch out. Anthony Gibson. Close to a first down. Two minutes left to play in the ball game. Two minutes, 14 seconds as Lynn Swan heads for the field. John Blake making the stop there. You look, you're looking at the Trojans. That's Troy West, number nine. First down as the Trojans controlling this ball game, heading down the field with time running away. 2.14 left to play and pretty soon Oklahoma's going to have to start calling timeouts. They've got three left. Check it. They've got two left. The Trojans have three. Oklahoma, who has not been shut out on a NCAA record, 181 games. In danger of it here as Todd Spencer picks up three, four yards down to the 37-yard line. Reminder to stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll have a complete post-game show for you. O.J. Simpson will be with us down on the sidelines. We'll be talking with the USC players, head coach John Robinson. You took a look at Todd Spencer there. Number six is Timmy White, 84, Fred Cornwell. Oklahoma, 10 first downs for one of the best offensive teams in the country. Gibson picks up three yards over his left guard. And the clock continues to run away. One minute left to play. One minute, nine seconds. And now, timeout called down on the field by the University of Oklahoma. We'll be back for the final minute and eight seconds right after this message. Third down, two yards to go. Ball at the 34-yard line. The give to Gibson. He's got the first down and more. 25, 20, Anthony Gibson to the 16-yard line. And about the only thing you can say if you're an Oklahoma fan is at least the clock stopped. As Dwight Drain, a junior out of Miami, ran him out. Gibson showing some of the flash of his sophomore year. Out of San Fernando. Gets it to the 16-yard line where it's first down. Another first down for the Trojans. They're 15th. 103 left to play. Scott Tinsley is in at quarterback now, the Oklahoma City boy. Gibson. Picks up a couple of yards. Run out of bounds at the 14. But again, it stops the clock if you're a Sooner fan. Reminder, Eye on LA starting Monday night at 7.30, an outstanding magazine show with Paul Moyer coming to you Monday night at 7.30. Right here on your local station, Channel 7. I'm Ted Dawson along with Lynn Swan. Lynn's down on the field. He'll get ready for our post-game show for you. Be sure to stay tuned. He'll have John Robinson. He'll have the Trojans for you. O.J. Simpson's down there. Billy Sims. Tinsley with coming on motion. Gibson, no gain around the right side. Now the clock runs from 50 seconds. And the Sooners want timeout with 46 seconds left to play in the ball game. So we'll take a timeout and we'll be back for the final 46 seconds with USC leading 12 to nothing. We'll be back after this. 50 miles to the north of Norman.
decided to go to USC for his education. Gives off to Anthony Gibson, going over right guard on third down and about eight yards to go, so he did not pick up the first down. And it'll be fourth down and still six yards to go with the clock running. 30 seconds left to play here in Norman, Oklahoma. And I do not believe that USC is going to try to go for a field goal. They are not. Scott Tinsley's going to keep it on the ground with 17 seconds left to play. The Sooners cannot stop the clock. This is going to be the final play of the ball game. Tinsley taking his time, taking it himself, and is tackled at the 10-yard line with three seconds left to play. Bob Slater making the stop for the Sooners. And USC is going to shut out Oklahoma for the first time in 18 years, 181 games, 198 yards rushing for the Trojans. A sensational defensive effort by USC this afternoon. Georgia Chica clapping hands as you take a look at head coach Barry Switzer of the University of Oklahoma. There is one chance for the Sooners to keep from being shut out. Joey Browner is standing back at the 45-yard line, 35 yards off the field, as head coach Barry Switzer looked like he was giving the keys to his car to his son. Get me out of here. Final play of the ball game. Danny Bradley, back to pass. Throw and long. Complete. Cluis is still going. Paul Cluis at the 35-yard line, finally drug down, and that's the ball game. USC has defeated Oklahoma as you take a look at Barry Switzer the final score USC 12 Oklahoma nothing let's go down to Lynn Swan on the field we come to it as soon as possible. John Robinson being congratulated Lynn Swan is going to get head coach John Robinson for us as soon as possible he's coming over right now let's go to Lynn Swan down there's Lynn John Robbins, congratulations. A great win for your team. First time this Oklahoma team has been shut out in, in about 60 years. It was a great win for you. What do you think? Well, it was a great win. Great win for the total football team. I think we played clutch football. I think, as we've said before, we've got to be able to play the whole game if we're going to be a, a, you know, a good football team. And I think our defense played great. Our special teams, David Fryer, punted great foot, uh, today. Uh, our offense uh, didn't make a lot in the second half, but it controlled the football at times. It didn't make any major errors. We're very happy. Can you tell us about the play of Georgia Key? We felt single-handedly he was plugging up the entire middle of that offensive line. Well, he's a great football player. We had a design to try to get him more active and try to get after him. Georgia Key is, I think, one of the fine players. We missed August Curley, as I said before. August, I told you we'd get him. But it's a, it's, a, it's a great team victory, and I think when you win, you win as a team. It's particularly great to beat a team like Oklahoma. They've got great class, great dignity. It's one of the great programs. It's a great privilege to play them. It's our day-to-day, -day, but they're a great team. You talked about Colt not being in there. Neil Holt came in, called signals to the good job. Did he show you some of the promise and, and talent that you look for in him? Well, I hope so. I, you know, I mean, during the game, everybody seems kind of a blur. <laughs> <laughs> I think he played well, though. I did. The top of the fourth quarter. USC offense had the ball deep in its own territory. Three plays are out. Looked like you're getting a bit conservative with only a 12-point lead. Yep. Well, again, we've got, you know, we have our, our first string tailback is out. Our, our second tailback was out. We're playing with our third tailback and at times with our fourth tailback and a sophomore quarterback who at times misses the snap from center. <laughs> <laughs> Think I should have been conservative there a little bit? <laughs> you were doing a good job. Coach, again, congratulations. The Trojan Band is over there playing Conquest. I know you want to get with your team. Again, the USC Trojans Win the ball game 12 0 here in Norman, Oklahoma. We'll be right back with more interviews on our post game show after this commercial. <laughs> 